Expect a text message from President Trump himself tomorrow in a first ever test of a national presidential alert system. Most wireless devices will receive the alert message tomorrow afternoon. Paul Murphy joins us with a look at the system and how it's already being used here in New Orleans. Good evening, Paul. Good evening, Karen. Government agencies across the country have issued more than 40,000 emergency alerts since 2012, and that includes notifications for things such as plant explosions, life-threatening weather, and children in danger. The wireless emergency alert system is reserved for extreme situations, such as a missile launch or tsunami. Wednesday, the Federal Emergency Management Agency will be testing the system for the first time nationwide. It's going to affect everyone's phone or wireless device, and it's, uh, you know, it's the presidential alert. You can expect to see the alert pop up on your phone at 1.18 p.m. New Orleans time. It will have the header presidential alert with the message, this is a test of the National Wireless Emergency Alert System. No action is needed. It's one of three kinds of alert in FEMA's WIA system. It can also notify the public about extreme weather or missing children, also known as Amber Alerts. This kind of gives you an idea of all New of Orleans Homeland Security right. Director Colin Arnold says the city is set up to use the system locally if needed. A major hurricane, uh, evacuation, uh, any kind of hazardous materials or a chemical release or anything along the river that might happen. Trooper Dustin Dwight from the Louisiana State Police says the state has a strict protocol for when the system can be used. We're not going to put it out there unless it's an emergency, unless it's vitally important that somebody sees that, that information. And maybe they can make a difference in, in, in protecting themselves or rescue somebody else. Wireless providers ping the alert message to any phone on a given cell tower or group of towers in a geographical area. But if it's something that we think may need to be statewide, disseminated statewide, we have the ability to press that button as well. But we could also geographically break it down to a neighborhood, to a zip code, down to about a city block if we had to. And the city ran its own WIA simulation just two weeks ago, and tomorrow FEMA will also test its emergency alert system for radio and television broadcasters two minutes after the WIA test. We're live in the French Quarter, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. Paul, thanks very much.